Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center, and time for another Nature to Go. So this is the time of year that we start seeing debris on the sidewalks here on the boardwalk. And you might be wondering, what is that? What's happened here? Who has made this mess? What you're seeing are the husks, the outer part of black walnuts and butternuts. The butternuts are a little bit longer, more pointy on the ends. Walnuts are pretty much round, but both of them have a green cover that's slightly sticky feeling. They're one of squirrels' favorite foods, even when they can find other food easily. Red or gray squirrels will climb up into the trees where they can locate the butternuts or the walnuts, and then they clip them from the branch, and then they're gonna either eat it right then or they're gonna hide it. Gray squirrels hide their nuts one at a time. But red squirrels do something called caching, where they'll put a bunch in one area. This is actually a cache that was spotted by DNC staff on our property this fall. If the squirrel isn't going to stash the nuts for later, then it's gonna start working on the nut that it has. First thing it's gonna do is remove the husk. That's what you're finding on the sidewalks or the boardwalk at the Nature Center. And if you've ever handled the husk, you know it stains. People actually use that husk part to make dyes and for inks. And the squirrels don't have a use for the husks, but that does end up staining them. If you look around their mouth area sometimes, you'll see a squirrel with a very dark area around its mouth, and that can tell you it's been chewing on walnuts and butternuts. Once the husk is gone, the squirrel is ready to go for the nut meat. But this next part is hard, literally. Listen carefully, and sometimes you can hear a particular kind of scratchy sound. This is the sound of the squirrel chewing through the shell. Their very strong teeth are needed to try to get into the shell. Sometimes they'll make holes on either side in order to reach the edible nut meat inside, or other times the squirrels will chew along the seam in order to weaken it so that then they can pull it apart. It can take over 40 minutes for the squirrel to chew enough of the shell away to get to the nut meat. But persistence and hard work pays off because black walnuts contain the highest protein content of any kind of tree nut. So it's worth the effort for them to get to it. So the next time you're out walking, look for black walnut or butternut husks and listen for the sound of the squirrel busy chewing away at that shell. And then be glad you don't have to work so hard for your dinner. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go. And we'll talk to you again next time.